DVD review, Stay in the Multiplex, September 2012 edition. <laughs> I mean, I, there's not much I can do, it's fucking September. September 7th, so they release a cold eye today. Now you're thinking, this movie doesn't sound familiar at all. Well, the reason is because the studio, Summit slash Lionsgate, they actually didn't decide to put it out in wide release until the week before it came out. So even though they put it in a lot of theaters, they spent fucking zero dollars in advertising, so nobody even knows this movie, nobody even knows what it's about, who's in it, whatever. I do happen to know that fucking su the new Superman, Henry Cavill's in it, as well as Bruce Willis. Fucking Bruce Willis just got like eight movies coming out <laughs> every month now. Like it used to be back in the day, like an actor would, like you'd be like, man, this actor's really busy. He got two movies in the same year. Not Bruce Willis, man. He's just like, I think what happens is like they do like a camera angle on one of his movies. He says a line, he turns this way. There's another camera standing there from another movie. Does a line for that movie back and forth. I don't know how he's coming out with all these fucking movies, but damn, yippee ki yay. Also September 7th saw the release of another movie that fucking nobody knows anything about, The Words, starring Bradley Cooper. This actually is the third movie of the fall of Star Wars, Bradley Cooper playing a fucking aspiring, struggling writer. Why? I don't know. You know, ever since he broke out in Limitless, he was a writer and that, I guess they want to keep making writer opuses for Bradley Cooper. The words, don't miss it. It's the best Bradley Cooper playing a writer movie of the fucking fall. On September 14th, we saw Resident Evil Retribution. Now, for you people not in the know, think, God, man, how many fucking of these Resident Evils they're going to make to make more of them than fucking shitty Seagal fucking director video movies and stuff? Well, the reason they put Retribution on is they're a little ashamed that it's part five, you know, in like less than ten years. But hey, fucking Mila's got to eat, so Resident Evil Retribution. And if you thought it was fucking lazy just pumping out Resident Evil movies left and right, fucking one after another, year after year, and they're all the same, Disney actually took the shit a step further on September 14th and released Finding Nemo 3D. Fucking, it's the same old movie you've been owning on DVDs for 10 years, but now it's in 3D, so get your fucking $12 right. And I know, I know you fucking, there's a lot of people, you know, maybe 10 years ago when everybody used to talk about Pixar magic, but after Cars 2 and all this fucking dog shit and Brave, there, everybody knows now there is no Pixar magic, so Disney's gotta fucking milk that Pixar teat for all it's worth. In a couple weeks we're gonna get fucking Monsters Inc. 3D, and then after that we're gonna get fucking Goofy's Big Adventure 3D, and then we're gonna fucking get... Um, Lion King 3 that was originally directed video that's going to come back out in the theaters in 3D. I mean just like a whole wealth of options of 3D because Disney knows that with fa you know, families that have 3 or 4 kids they really want to not only take their fucking kids to a movie but they also want to pay an extra $3 per ticket to get in. So Disney, fuck, I don't know how you do it but you know you have your fingers on the pulse of fucking what families in America want. Keep raking in the money. Also on the 14th, saw the release of The Master. Sorry, Joaquin Phoenix and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. This movie, is it about Scientology? Is it not? Does <laughs> actually, actually, I'm not even going to talk about Scientology. You motherfuckers. They'll probably come and slit my throat in the middle of the night. So, The Master. If you want to see it, Go see it. Maybe it's about Scientology. Maybe it's not. I didn't tell you to go see it. It's not even playing in my local theater. And even if it was, I wouldn't go see it. Because you never know like who's going to follow you home. And fucking just kill you in your driveway for seeing a movie that's anti-Scientology. Even though it's, it's technically not anti-Scientology. And no matter what your feelings on Scientology are. You may or may not see the film that may exist. That may or may not be about Scientology. But you know, let's just leave it at that. Because fuck man. Scientology is scary as fuck. Then we jump ahead. September 21st, we had a house at the end of the street. What's the plot of this movie? Nobody fucking knows. The trailer doesn't fucking show a story. And I'm sure the movie doesn't have a story. All I know is Jennifer Lawrence is running around all sweaty in a tank top. Like, usually, like, these movies, they get the girl sweaty in the tank top and then she got dirt on her face. Not this one. Jennifer Lawrence sweaty in a tank top. she got a bunch of makeup on. I guess they're overcompensating for how they uglied up for the fucking Hungry Games. But she's back, she looks like a fuck street walking whore, but she's supposed to be playing like a damsel in distress and shit. She wants to discover what's in the basement of the house next to her house or whatever. So, house is in the street, you can fucking just go check that shit out. Also, on September 21st, saw the release of Dread. Not Judge Dread, but Dread. And unfortunately, even though we're only a week past this coming out, it's already flopped. It's been one of the worst flops like ever in the fucking history of cinema. But people will not go see it. They were already turning their fucking direction towards other movies and stuff. I never thought it was that bad of a movie, but I guess the the first version of it, Judge Dredd, was Sylvester Stallone fucked it up with all his I am Drew and all that fucking bullshit. So you fucking dread, rest in peace. Let's have a moment of silence for Judge Dredd. Well not Judge Dredd, Dredd. Yeah, fuck Judge Dredd. Also on the twenty first, 
we had trouble with the curve. <laughs> Just goes to show that, you know, a week before your movie opens, it's probably not the best idea to go run up to a political convention, say a bunch of shit, fucking talk about how you hate the president and all this shit. That might turn a few people off, but hey, you know, it's baseball, it's Clint Eastwood, they'll go anyway. No, fuck, sorry, Clint, your reign of fucking, your reign of greatness is over, buddy. And I don't even think it's because, like, your political party affiliation and shit. I just think people don't like motherfuckers who talk to empty chairs. <laughs> I mean, call me fucking crazy, but you don't see, like, like fucking five people watch this YouTube channel, but we'd probably only have two people watching the YouTube channel if you just tuned in I was go and I was here all the time. Hey, you motherfucker. Hey, <laughs> you fucking dummy. Why do you say that? Oh, fuck. Also, on the 21st, we had End of Watch. It's a camcorder movie, like Paranormal Activity, but it's not about ghosts. It's about cops. And it's from the writer of Training Day. He's the writer director of this. He's going to show you cops driving around all this shit. It's just like Training Day. Even the advertisement says, In the watch, just like Training Day. Because it's made by the guy who made Training Day. But it's not Training Day. Because it's a brand new movie that you can go pay $12 to go see and all this shit. <laughs> September 28th. Hotel Transylvania. Am Sandler. He went back to families with a fucking movie about... Well, it's not a movie, it's a cartoon about Dracula running a fucking hotel for monsters. I don't know who the fucking point of Adam Sandler, the new Walt Disney and shit, but all his baby movies fucking suck. Zookeeper, Jack and Jill, it's all fucking horrendous. And all you fuckers out there and ragging on them during the summer, oh, that's my boy, that looks like a terrible movie, it's fucking terrible. Yeah, well, you know what, Adam Sandler's gonna get your money anyway, because he's gonna make the shitty cartoons that you have to take your fucking kids to. So if it was, if it was me, personally, I'd rather see an R-rated comedy with fucking people saying fuck, showing a couple tits, instead of watching these fucking poorly ass fucking animated cartoons and shit. But hey, fucking pick your poison. Either way, Adam Sandler's gonna get you in the ass. Also, September 28th, Looper. A little movie came out of nowhere. I've only been seeing the trailer for this movie at my local theater for about 13 or 14 months. So it's nice that it finally came out. And it was also nice that fucking Bruce Willis took time off of filming A Cold Light of Day to film Looper. Because like I said, hey, fucking Bruce Willis, eight movies a month. There's still one more day in the month. Bruce Willis can get like, at least two to three more movies out there. Come on, Bruce, step your game up, man. Get some more fucking movies out. Also, September 28th was won't back down by some, some women living in a poor neighborhood that want their kids to have a good fucking education so they're gonna go fight the system and get some money raised for the kids so they can have a good school and shit. I don't know if fucking these ladies been watching all the latest political news and shit, but only rich people should have a right to education. Don't you know that? This is America. Come on. So that's it for September 22. Sorry I couldn't really get it up for this one, but jeez man, these fucking movies are getting bad. I mean, even, even to sit down and make fun of them is getting fucking hard because they're so bad. It's just fucking hard accepting the truth. That fucking movies are deader than dead, and we gotta sit down, we gotta watch something off the shelf from the 1980s to see something that even resembles a fucking plot or a fucking somebody can act. But hey, as long as you keep paying your fucking 10 bucks or whatever you pay at your local theater, this bullshit will just keep on coming. And fuck, most movies now, the majority of the money comes from overseas, fucking box office rentals and shit. So, I mean, really, it don't even matter. Like, we just gotta suffer, like. You can either go to the movies or you can not go to the movies. Either way, the fucking shit show is going to keep fucking serving. All this hot buttered trash that's at your local theater is going to keep coming. I'm sorry, fucking. I wish I, wish I could fucking offer some help. Because you know what things are bad fucking now? In the old days, this would be the time of the year when fucking they'd be gearing up to get some movies out so they could be nominated for the Oscars in January. But no more, man. Movie industry said, fuck that, man. We ain't trying to make fucking quality movies. We'll make this fucking dog shit. And you people, are you going to pay for the dog shit or you're not going to pay for the dog shit? But the dog shit will be there and it will be on the screen. And the dog shit will just... It is just dog shit. What can I say? It's fucking dog shit. So hopefully there's going to be some better movies coming out in October, but I ain't holding my fucking breath for it. You know, but hey, that's the current fucking slate of hot butter trash that's fucking being served up at your... <laughs> Fuck, I'm so stupid.